scientists have discovered a fossil that showed that uh, reptiles actually gave live birth in a similar way to mammals. This is a 248 million year old fossil from the Mesozoic era, so showing two babies being born from a mother ichthyosaur. Tim, explain what the pieces are. Okay, so the yellow uh, is one of the babies emerging from the mother. The orange is another baby stuck inside the mother. The blue is a fin, the green is a rib cage. Uh, the red looks like licorice, so... It is not <laughs> licorice. So what, they, what scientists believe happened was there was a very difficult birth and the mother gave birth to stillborn babies and had died this way. This is different than how they had thought that reptiles gave birth before. They thought that maybe it would give birth similar to how whales and dolphins do in the ocean. And of well, course, this, none of this is common in reptiles, which lay eggs. So now we're familiar with you know evolutionary theory and how just about everything started in the ocean and then crawled its way up onto land and evolved from there. The ichthyosaur is a little different because they theorized that once it was on land, it actually went back into the water. It mm -hmm. has you know some traits of you know uh, land reptiles at the time um, and, and went back into the sea. It's also interesting because this shows a head-first birth, uh, which is common in land animals and not in aquatic mammals, which are almost all tail first. I, I mean, I love these stories when we find out some scientific thing, uh, especially dinosaur related or reptile related from a long, long time ago where that we realize that we think we know everything about everything and that reptiles had to reproduce through eggs and we find out that that's not actually the case. This strikes me as like, this could be a very cool plot point for the new Jurassic Park. You know, they find out that the dinosaurs are actually reproducing in a way that they didn't expect them to reproduce, something like that. Yeah, well it's the ever evolving process of science because we make assumptions and they're sometimes, they're usually supported by some evidence, but then we find contrary evidence. So then that theory gets uh, changed and improved and this is just this step. Is this uh, a bigger story than, uh, I hadn't heard about this till you guys sent this to me. This seems like kind of huge to me that, uh, that reptiles could reproduce this way. Seems like it would be getting more coverage. It would be, except Damn that mainstream media. There are reptiles that do give live births. Yeah? Yeah, boas, vipers, and garter snakes all give live births. So snakes. Uh, uh, the, Jackson, snakes. the Jackson chameleon and three or four different types of skinks all give live birth, but th it's, that's very rare in the reptile community. I did not know that, and I didn't even know what a skink was. I still Skank? Know. Did you mean skank? <laughs> yes, skank. I think he meant skank. No, you yeah. did not. <laughs> you didn't mean skank? I don't, well, skanks technically would give birth that way, but well, no. But they all <laughs> use birth control, so <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. even an issue. Yeah. Skinks. All right, well, this evolves our understanding of birth and science and evolution and skanks. Let us know what you think <laughs> below, and please be sure to subscribe.